the world has a huge water problem. If you are part of the one-third of the world population that does not face water scarcity for at least one month a year, then you can consider yourself lucky. The energy consumes a substantial amount of water. Our estimate is that the global energy system uh, withdrew about 370 billion cubic meters of water in 2021. If you want to put it in terms of swimming pools, that would be about 150 million uh, Olympic swimming pools. That's, that's perhaps more than there are swimming pools in the world. Uh, so as energy demand goes up, uh, it is likely that uh, demand for fresh water will also go up. We need water for cooling and when we produce fossil fuels, we need water to refine critical minerals that go into uh, some of the clean energy technologies like batteries or wind generators. Some of these uh, clean energy technologies uh, and that have low emissions, for example, concentrated solar power, or carbon capture and storage, or nuclear power plants. All of these have actually a relatively high water footprint. Now, if we uh, transition to a system that relies more on wind and more on solar uh, panels, then water uh, use by the energy sector is going to decrease. When there is a competition for water, people will come first. So if there is a water shortage, one of the first things that could be cut is uh, water for energy, for cooling, for example, even if it's so important. The energy sector needs to be prepared to use less water so that it is not constrained in its capacity to deliver uh, reliable energy.